The European Council is preparing for a late-night meeting on Thursday when the EU is supposed to settle a new deal with the UK. Before this meeting, there's been intensive talks. Talks about a controversial welfare issue, but also talks about concerns that the UK could block further integration in the Eurozone. The demand that citizens from other EU countries that work in Britain should have to wait years to get access to social benefits was initially seen as the most difficult part of the new deal that the UK wanted to negotiate with the EU, ahead of the British referendum on EU membership. However, it seems like Prime Minister David Cameron now got some support on that issue from member states concerned, such as Poland. Instead, another demand that the UK and its financial centre, the City of London, should not be affected by decisions taken in the euro area could be a bigger obstacle for a deal on Thursday night. France has been the most vocal opponent, supported by Germany. They fear that the UK could hinder Eurozone decisions and that the City of London could get special treatment. France and also others want that all EU member states, including the UK, follow the same financial rules. They call for clearer wording in the deal text, as vague formulations could open for the UK to have different rules, for instance on bank bonuses and capital requirements. On Monday evening, also the president of the European Central Bank, Mario Draghi, commented on the issue, saying that unclear agreement with the UK would have negative implications for the Eurozone, which needs more integration, not less. And from this viewpoint, of course, the agreement, whatever it will be, should not hamper any further integration movement for our monetary union. Karel Lanno at the Center for European Policy Studies shared these concerns. Already today it's difficult for the 28 EU countries to take decisions. Further obstacles, like giving national parliaments increasing powers to block European legislation, are not needed. Karel Lanno also argues that the UK, and especially its financial center, the City of London, is actually benefiting a lot from the common EU rules. I think it is clearly visible for every visitor who comes to London, who's been there in the 80s, who's been there in the 90s and who comes there today, how this city has grown, for me, to a large degree, as a result of the freedoms which we have in the treaty. David Cameron is hoping for a deal on Thursday that he could use to convince the British voters to stay in the EU. But what that deal will look like is still an open question. Donald Tusk, the EU Council president, is the one trying to broke the deal. As the positions have hardened the last couple of days, he asked the parties to take it easy and to listen more to each other's arguments. The risk of breakup is real because this process is indeed very fragile. Handle with care. What is broken cannot be mended.